So is Rust comparable to C when it comes to benchmarks? Well, now we have a very real world application and that is an NVMe driver, which was developed for the Linux kernel and the benchmarks here, which were presented at the Linux plumbers conference here in 2022, give us some amazing results, which we'll be going through. So we'll be going through actual performance, but before we go through those benchmarks, let's talk a little bit about why it's so important to test Rust out against C. And no, they're not going to be replacing the NVMe driver for it's a Rust equivalent in the Linux kernel. But what does this prove to us? Well, it shows you how the Rust language can be used to write a driver. And then two, for the NVMe driver, it has been extensively used. So it can be a very good example of how well Rust can perform, which leads me to three, performance. We'll have a great benchmark to compare C versus Rust and the capability of each of them. And four, this driver has to be applied over multiple kernel systems. So it shows us how well Rust will work with these various systems. So with all that being said, smash that like button. Let's get into the actual benchmarks that were presented during the conference. Now that you have a little bit of background, let's talk about the benchmark setup here. Of course, these slides are available online. They were given to us after being presented during the conference. I'll post a link down in the description below, but there's actually some code that was presented and written in Rust that you can check out so you can see how the implementation was made. But let us get into the benchmark setup. So this was all tested on a Dell PowerEdge R6525, so basically a server with the one CPU socket, Epic 7313, which includes 16 cores, 128 gigabytes of DRAM. And then the really cool part is these two things right here, which when you're talking about Epic, these two are Epic. Why? Well, this one right here is an NVMe that costs upwards of six grand. That's right, six grand for this NVMe here that's particularly made for servers and boasts amazing throughput. Anyways, there's one of those in the system that's going to be tested. And then three other NVMe drives, which are close to a grand a piece here. Notice that the interfaces are different here. This one's using PCIe Express 3, and this is using PCIe Express 4. This is being tested on a Debian Bullseye Linux 5.10 kernel, and it's using QEMU version 5.2 to, of course, emulate multiple systems on the server and virtual machines. So that's the benchmark system that they ended up using. Now let's get into what everybody's waiting for, the benchmarks. How well does Rust perform with its C counterpart? Well, here are the stats. Quite fascinating if you ask me. Basically, they are as currently written on par with C drivers. We'll see in some cases it's better and in other cases it's a little worse. So here, what are we looking at? We're looking at basically 1,000 IOPS, which is 1,000 input-output operations per second. That kind of gives us an idea on the speed, although it's not necessarily directly related to speed of the drive. What it really tells us is theoretically the limit of operations that could be completed per second. Down here, we have the various different drives with different loads. So these are the drives that we talked about. Yes, the 6K one and the $1,000 one. Anyways, let's read the chart now. So anything in blue is going to be the C driver. Anything in orange is going to be the Rust driver. Therefore, we go up here and we see somewhere between the 8 and 600 mark, around 700 kilo IOPS is where both are benchmarked to. Now, the winner here seems to be the actual C driver for this particular test, although they're pretty much on par. So that's what they're trying to show is how close to on par they are together. Let's keep going here. So for the second test, the base, the P5800X NVMe, well, this one is a little bit considerable. We can see that it's probably been dropped down to, if I had to guess, I'll call that 1550 kilo IOPS versus 1600 by the C driver. So clearly another winner for the C driver. Of course, there's optimizations that could take place, I'm sure, and make it even better. But we'll see in a couple of these cases, Rust actually beats out C, which is quite fascinating. The big takeaway here will be, can Rust actually compete against C? Well, we'll keep going. 
because here we are again C dominant barely ever so much I mean that little sliver here is the only difference now it gets interesting with some load on the P5 800x rust seems to take it here on the 20% load they are very even and also on the 20% load with the P5 5800x they're also leveled out and seem to be performing at the same level so I think this does answer something for us but let's move on to the next set of data and mind you this is IRQ driven which just means interrupt request driven so we're actually using interrupts here okay using a pulled method we actually gain IOPS considerably and again the same sort of tests you have the base level a 10% load and a 20% load on each of the individual NVMEs so what are we getting out of this one well it's pretty much a level across the board except right here we see that C again wins but other than that right across the board the C and the Rust driver implementation for the Linux kernel is very much on par this really helps cement the fact that Rust at least at a performance level can be on par with C programming so this is exciting news for Rust developers as well as all of you who are getting into programming and are considering learning Rust now we have a very real world application in the Linux kernel that allows us to see real benchmarks and maybe even the future of writing drivers in the Linux kernel there are more benchmarks to go through so let's do that and now we get kind of an extrapolation of what is happening basically what's saying here it looks like with one core on the p5800x series drives that we are getting more and more of a split you can see that here in the shaded area between the amount of drives that we have on our system so between one drive we are on par up until two because you can see both lines really line up on each other and they go all the way up here but here's where the split happens and that's between two and three drives so one could guess if this is linear this would keep growing meaning the rust driver is having a little more difficulty handling multiple drives versus the C driver is currently the benchmark and it is maintaining a clear read throughput for pulled queues as far as mega IOPS go so mega meaning 1 million IOPS or 1 million input output operations per second very good let's go down to the very last comparison and this one is going to be read throughput for pulled queues on n cores meaning multiple cores on the p5800x drives and we can see a one-to-one -one comparison between the entire set going between number of drives and number of cores so the more cores you introduce and the more drives you introduce the same performance remains across the rust driver versus the c driver in the linux kernel this again is a mega input output operations per second and just goes to show you how c and rust kernel driver performance compares and they're very much on par with each other when doing pulled read writes i am interested in seeing more data given to us and we'll give credit where credit's due what's in almeida philo for writing the rust nvme driver andreas himberg for helping with the physical drives the polling support multiple device support refactoring and maintenance absolutely fantastic it says contributions are welcome so if you want to help test some of this it looks like you can they give us two repositories we can uh, clone down that have to do with the nvme portion of the rust linux kernel again i'll put a link to the slideshow in the description below make sure to check it out make sure you like the video catch me in a great community on discord and i'll catch you in another video thanks for watching